Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 28 today, verses 41 to 43, and we're just going through all the way through and picking up uh, lots of different insights. 41, you shall put them on Aaron, your brother, and on his sons with him, and you shall anoint them and ordain them and consecrate them that they may serve me as priests. You shall make for them linen breeches to cover their bare flesh. They shall reach from the loins even to the thighs. They shall be on Aaron and on his sons when they enter the tent of meeting or when they approach the altar to minister in the holy place so that they do not incur guilt and die. It shall be a statute forever to him and to his descendants after him. So this is a section in 28 and 29 here. We're dealing with the priestly garments. And then we're going to get into the, um, you know, the actual beginning of the priesthood. Uh, but what we see here is that, um, guess what? The priests always had to wear some kind of an underwear, among other things. Uh, the, the, we don't expose our nakedness uh, to God. I mean, God, you know, the doctor knows what you look like, and God knows what you look like, right? I mean, he designed you. The doctor saw you when you were born, but God designed you. So I guess he knows where all the freckles are, right? But you know what? God is holy. We are not. God uh, is helping us learn how to function in this world. And so God sets certain parameters. And one of the things he does is he helps us understand that he is a holy God. Something that in our, in the 2020s, we, we have a lot of trouble understanding. What does holiness mean? Oh, everything's holy. Little babies are holy. Little puppy in the street is holy. Everything's holy. No, no, not, not, not everything is holy. The Bible tells us certain things are, are especially uh, need to be treated with high respect. And so here's a piece of that, is that we give reverence, we give respect to God. He's the creator, we're the created, you know, like, don't you get it? So here is just a piece of that. There's a way to dress when you come into God's presence. Now, what about church? You know, people get all bent out of shape because, oh, somebody walked into church and they weren't dressed too right. You know what? And when people come into my church, you know, as long as they, you know, have, have, their, their private parts are covered, you know, I, I want them to come. I want them to hear the truth. Uh, you know, as you come to church, you'll learn. You'll, you'll kind of learn to upgrade. A lot of people just don't even have those pieces. Jesus was very merciful. Let's, uh, let's let him help us uh, learn. And he has patience and mercy, but he's going to bring us up to speed. If we think we can enter God's presence and just treat him like, you know, like uh, we, just, we just came in from yard work, he loves us. He'll accept us the first time. He'll accept us the second time. He's growing us, though. Friend, I guess the basic point is simple. We should simply learn some respect. Uh, these priests had to dress a certain way. If they didn't dress the right way, they would they would die. So God is, is giving us help to recognize the difference between that which is sanctified to him and that which isn't. There's another element here I don't want to miss, and that is that, did you notice, in the instruction that the priests here, and this is the inauguration, the beginning of the priesthood, this is they, their stuff they're supposed to wear. They don't put it on themselves. Moses here is in the place of he is dressing them. He's putting it on them. And that's how it works. You know, a lot of times when a person, when a woman gets married, you know, she, she puts on her bridal dress and she's got her helpers and they all help her get it put up, primped up just the, just the perfect way. And there's things that, you know, if you've got a big long train or whatever, you know, you've got to have some help. Well, this is not a matter of Moses. Aaron needs the help. This is a matter of the, the whole symbology of it here. God, before the minister can minister for God, God must minister to the one who will be a minister. So the priest is chosen by God, and here Moses is kind of in this role of dressing the priest before the priest, having been properly dressed, carries on to minister. So God does the selecting, God uh, equips, God designates. And so here the priests are, are kind of like standing, standing and in, in, in letting Moses put the garments on them because this is part of the recognition that this is God's work. God has made the decision. The priest is not. Anybody who's self-appointed, a self-appointed religious person, i uh, got to be careful with that. Be real careful with that. You know, it's that's not the way we do it. God must show us, and then we agree with God. And so, interesting picture here of Aaron not not dressing. He's not putting on anything of his own stuff. He's being it's being put on him, and he is he is compliantly submitting as Moses dresses him. That's the picture that we're going to have here when the priest is dressed, 
and carried on. All right, we'll carry on tomorrow morning. Thank you.